Say what's up. I was to gonna th- say, do you even have like anything to talk about? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I, 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 I got random shit. Nah, nah, I got some stuff. I'm, a, I'm a professional. Come on, believe in me. <laughs> okay, my bad, bro. <laughs> nah, Just but gotta for- make sure. Nah, nah, I got you. I got you. But first, say what's up to the people. What's good, chat? You already know who it is, bro. Yeah. This fellow was talking about. If are you, you hit me up about this yesterday when we was at the boat or whatever. Yeah, when we went to I the hit boat. This shit, we, like, of course. Why would I say no? Nah, because you know, people, you have to beat the um the fake allegations. Bro, I've been not fake, bro. I don't know what, where this fake shit came from. It's because we're friends with Posey, so it's like, it happens. Bro, Posey is the true fakest, bro. Like, that man really does not... Po- he says, I'm going to pop out, and doesn't pop out. I that's don't facts. get it, bro. No, that's he true. He could just say, I'm not going to go, but instead he lies every time. For vibes. You know how it goes. But let's let's, let's get started with the pod. What's good, everybody? What's up? What's up? Welcome to the to the hookers and to the dirty dance. What's good, everybody? All right. So, all right, we got. Let's just start with the the origins, I guess. Um, the very beginning. What's good, bro? Tell me, tell me about how you got into gaming. Period. I've been playing video games since I was in the womb, bro. At this point, <laughs> like two years, bro, three years old, four years old. My my cousin always had a Super Nintendo. So he he played Street Fighter on that shit. Uh, what's the shit? Super Mario World, Mega Man X, all the classic shits. Ever since then, I just always played video games. It's just and, something that just called your attention and just gravitated towards. I mean, it was there, so I was kind of like, you know, I played this shit. Mario is a banger. All those games were a banger, bro. My first system was actually my own Super Nintendo. So, like, after that, my mom used to cop me most of my shit, most of the shit. Wait, what was your what was your favorite game as a kid? Mega Man X is top one. That shit is the GOAT. I still think it's the GOAT, even now. Why is that? What do you mean, why is that? You ain't I, 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 never play, I never played Mega Man X. I was never a fan of those, of those types of games. <laughs> I was Jack, truly never a fan. Man, <laughs> I was never a fan. Kill this man. You don't even play video. You was the type of fella who played 2K and COD only, huh? Nah, nah. I was. I grew up on Nintendo, so I mainly played like Pokemon games and Mario games. Truthfully, oh, I just had to make sure, bro. Nah, yeah. This, that shit was a classic in high school. Like, yeah, bro, I play. I had this <laughs> fella on Xbox, 2K, COD only, and GTA. No other games copped. <laughs> nah, I, I know those kind of fellas. I know a lot of those fellas. But wait, so then yeah. a question. You mentioned you mentioned uh you were playing Street Fighter as a as a young and as a young bull. Is that what got your love into fighting games as well? No. Um I just liked playing just any video game. My r- love for fighting games came from playing Persona. Or I used to always play fighting games. Like I would cop all the MKs just because I liked the games, you know? Like but I wasn't no, how do you say it? Like, I wasn't that, like, how do you, how do I say this? Like, I didn't really care that much to get good. I would just play for fun. Like, I'll play all the MKs. I, pl- I played every single PS2 MK game. The real ones, remember MK Deception. Bro. The fucking, uh, that shit had a whole ass story mode, bro. Deception. <laughs> you talking to fuck. You, can walk well, you sound like you're 45 the way you speak here right now. Bro, we're almost the same age, <laughs> sister. What are you talking about? You just didn't play games like me, bro. <laughs> I was on the I was on the Nintendo vibes. Let me rock. Yeah, but yeah, I've been playing fighting games casually forever. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But my real love only came after playing Persona. The oh. game was just too much fun, bro. But what and made what made Persona stand out from from other games at that time for you then well it's an anime game so you know it wasn't like street fighter street fighter is hella like slow paced or whatever Mm -hmm. and persona was just mad fast paced i thought the i thought playing as teddy which is the the item character he's like ginyu kind of okay oh that's why you play false as well it all makes sense yes yes i played faust because of that and he just was mad fun to play, bro, and 
I randomly, I actually made real friends playing that shit. I have a, a sub who still subs to me that I met during that era. Shout out Jay Dash. He be in here sometimes. Really? But, Wait, how many people have you met in real life from like, like those I Xbox lobbies? I haven't met him in real life, but I've legit known this man like since, look, Persona Draw when I was in high school, first year of high school, bro, type shit. <laughs> Wait, have you met people? Dead ass boot up every day trying to get nasty at that shit. Have you met people from from the online world? I mean, you. (laughs) I mean, no, I'm talking about like somebody somebody met like on Xbox Live, like on a Call of Duty lobby or something like that. And then eventually like uh, you guys linked up in IRL. Oh, look, J Dash is in the chat. What's good, bro? Oh, damn. He heard him. Uh, He heard you. He heard you. Yeah, (laughs) he heard me immediately. Uh, nah, bro. I never met nobody from like the COD days or nothing like that, bro. For me, fellas. I mean, most of my like friend friends that I that I used to play COD with was just fellas from high school. Okay. Hold on, hold on. I gotta fucking clown nose suck my dick, bro. Shut up. <laughs> these fellas, these fellas. Hey, man, are- thank you for the twenty eight. These fellas want to know story time about uh your first memory with me. Um, I ain't gonna lie, you was a fan fan, bro. You you gifted me the shit. I still have the Piccolo you gifted me. Remember Not- the fun- Funko Pop shit? I don't remember it in detail, but I know you was a fan. That's all I remember. You was my boy. I, I like the energy. Because, no, you gotta... You, no, hold on, hold on. I need to explain this correctly, because the way you wording it is making me sound crazy. It I was... <laughs> now, I want you guys to understand... I used to, when, uh, when was it? When you used to stream, you used to stream, like, really, really late. I mean, you still do. But you would stream, like, randomly, like, at 1 a.m. And I would be getting home from work around that time or something like that. And you would just boot up, like, oh, who's this random fella? And I was just, like, randomly watching. But I didn't know what you looked like, because I don't think you had your camera at the time. Or it was, like, it was, like, a 1080, uh, not 1080, like, 188p, 144p type B. It was something like that. Yeah, I, I didn't have a... Fuck, I forgot to put this takeoff rematch. I didn't have a camera until, like, a little while. I think maybe a week. Like, I used to do PS4 streams and shit. Like yeah, that. I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, those are the streams that I remember. That's when, like, yeah, I guess I knew who you were. the very beginning. The very beginning of Dragon Ball, which um, is crazy. So then I remember... About. So then what I remember was... uh. Uh, one day I pull up to NOBC because it's the same day I made Double O and all of the, all those fellas. Um, you pulled up and I didn't know who you were. I didn't really know like what you looked like really. Like I barely knew. And I remember you came up and I was like, "Oh, what's good?" And you just said, "What's up?" I was like, "Oh, what's your name?" He was like, "Oh, I'm so and so." I was like, "Oh, oh, I know who you are." And that was kind of like, "Oh, what's up?" And it kind of like that was the end of the conversation. There was nothing really much to it. It was like yeah, random. I'm gonna be honest. I barely remember. It, to be <laughs> honest, because most. Mostly those days, I remember I would bring my, I would bring the whole gang. Yeah, <laughs> I would the, bring the like posse. Seven fellas to the to the spot. <laughs> what was the reason you brought so many people with you? Yeah, be, yeah, mostly because I was just nasty, and they kind of just wanted to see, and more vibes. Not like I, I went there, like I recruit or some shit, yeah. like trying to intimidate fellas or something like that. <laughs> Nah, yeah, it was yeah, yeah. just more because they wanted to peep, and I was winning tournaments, so I did, I used to go all the time. Did you always have people supporting you? Did you always have your homies support you since the very beginning? Yeah, my first tournament ever, actually, is because my boy convinced me to go to a Dragon Ball tournament. It was actually Winter Brawl. Since no. it was, you know, I had my little shitty-ass Honda Civic. <laughs> Two was it nineteen nineteen ninety seven Honda Civic, and uh, it was one day before Winter Bra, and I always thought about because I was at that point like number two or number three on the leaderboard in DBZ. When it mattered, like <laughs> huh? When it mattered, when it actually mattered. Yeah, when it mattered. <laughs> um. I kind of just always thought about going because I was like, man, what if I'm actually kind of all right? Maybe I could do all right if I pop out or whatever. And this fella convinced me to go. He drove me there. We drove to, I think it was in Philly, right? Or some shit like Winter that. Ball? It was like 2019, yeah, 2018? 
it must have been 2018 yeah damn okay. that's such a long time ago <laughs> that's been a minute yeah 2018 and my boy just convinced me to go and when i popped out i entered guilty gear and dbz i got 17th in dbz bro i lost to chris g and fucking wolf crone <laughs> never forget. i don't know if fellas even know who wolf crone is bro but i had no business losing to that fella bro playing this game <laughs> Chris G, of course, is Chris G. Wait, but, so so you you've always had your friend support, but what about support from the family? Did you always have that or no? I'm gonna be honest, my my mom doesn't even I don't even think she still understands what I do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like type shit. How do you explain know, it to her? My mom is pretty old though. Like she she's like sixty, I believe now. So like. I don't know. It's just something she just never really understood. Like, I would tell her, like, yeah, I'm going to pop out to this. And then I would tell her I won some money. She's like, oh, cool. And then, <laughs> but obviously, she would spam me with go to college and all this other bullshit. But I quit college. That shit was trash. I could not do that shit. Did she, did she ever just flat out be like, okay, me, ho, whatever. Like, okay, my son, like, cool. And she just accepted whatever it is she thought you were doing, which is competing, streaming, et cetera. Yeah, I mean, once I, um, once, I think once she saw the guap, then it was like, oh, shit. Like, okay, maybe, maybe you were chilling, bro. You know? Like, I, because, like, she kind of looked at it as, like, some pastime or some shit like that, right? That's typical Spanish moms. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, she didn't, it, it was hard for her to understand. Even if I explained it to her, like, she, I'd be like, yo, so, like, fellas watch me <laughs> play this game or whatever because at that when i really explained it to her i had like 200 viewers 300 viewers which is a lot to be honest man but you know she never really seemed like oh my god that's crazy blah 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 it'd be more like oh that's cool anywho uh college nope. <laughs> i just like word but i guess when she saw the guap and i was bringing home trophies and shit then it was like, oh shit, maybe bro is actually kind of nice type shit. But, well, obviously she didn't say that, imagine. <laughs> she, that's when she started to understand <laughs> that, said that that what you were doing <laughs> wasn't actually, <laughs> that's when she understood that what you're doing wasn't actually just for vibes. It's, it's more than just for vibes at that point. It's something bigger yeah. than, than that. Yeah. Nah, but yeah. The funny thing is too, that Winter Brawl tournament, I got second in, in, in Exert. So I was truly nasty at Guilty Gear. Not nasty enough, apparently. No, let me stop. I almost <laughs> won my first my first tournament ever. I almost won. And no. I didn't even practice that game anymore. I was practicing only DBZ. But my foul's just too nasty, I fear. That I, I have a question for like for the people who who are, who want to be nasty at like a video game and stuff like that. But they also want to be super competitive be number one and whatever game that they're playing whether it's fighting game F uh, fps whatever what kind of advice would you give this to them to like prosper that dream if you will i'm gonna be honest bro it, it this is a hard question because i got very lucky bro i cannot like sit here and act like like the stars pretty much aligned for me specifically nlbc happened to be there uh fucking i happened to play piccolo I happened to be good at the game, you know. I a lot of it was luck, to be honest. Um, I say if you really truly enjoy the game, that's how you'll actually care about, you know, winning. Cause like if you like, obviously, when I was getting good at the game, I wasn't awesome like trying to be Mr. Beast and become <laughs> a millionaire or some shit. I just played because I really enjoyed the game and it was fun, and I just wanted to be good. So I think that's the biggest motivation for sure. If you really want to get good, you have to you have to really fuck with the game and your re your reasons have to be there. It can't just be I want to be a top player or I want to be fucking make a living off of this, etc. But that, I guess the only advice is just be nice at the game and pray you live in New York to go to NBC. <laughs> that that's <laughs> I mean, it, it, it really does matter, bro. It it does matter. It plays a, a big factor considering like you're living in the tri-state area. So it helps out a lot. 
So for those common people who who don't have, I guess, the privilege, it becomes a lot more difficult for them, right? In the long run. I mean, yeah, like it, it's it's hard to be like to have sound advice on that on that on like starting, but you know, you just gotta enjoy what you do and be yourself. Or okay. maybe not, fellas be capping and doing these fake ass reactions. Shout out that <laughs> fella from yes from the day before. Oh, I peeped, I fella. peeped though with the with that FPS game he was playing. I don't remember. Just in a nut for no reason, <laughs> bro. I'm like, I right. you could do that, and even though fellas, maybe fellas will peep, <laughs> but that's but that's the meta. Uh, I think being yourself is the easiest thing though, bro. Because, but then again, some fellas is definitely not funny or entertaining it's not for everybody but how yeah. how can it be like because not everyone has the the entertainment skill or the personality or whatever some people are just nasty at games and have i guess no flavor to them no no personality nothing they're just i guess bland and yeah, that, i, I mean, think that's the if hardest you for sure. go, if you want to go that route you have to just be the best because shout out Sonic Fox, but my brother's streams is awful, bro. <laughs> like, he's like the prime example, bro. And you know what's funny? He's hilarious. In person, he has so much personality. He funny as hell. Be saying some random shit. Like, but his streams, is he just doesn't care about them, you know? Obviously. But, like, he, I feel like he chooses to not give a fuck. Because he's just that good. It doesn't really matter, you know? But when you're but, that nasty, it's just like, why? You, you already know why you're here. You're here because I'm nasty. What, is, what else is there to say? Yeah, exactly. But what I'm saying is, like, some fellas will try to be over funny and all this other shit. I don't know. It's rough. It's it's definitely hard to to actually get started on streaming. Yeah. I mean, being yourself worked out for you, right? How many viewers you got? Like, 90? I would say I would say I'm I'm extremely lucky though. I would say I'm also lucky. Yeah, I mean luck is like seventy percent of the thing, bro. Yeah, I would say I'm really lucky because like I've met people like you, the Preds, the Nitros, the Posies, the Acoustics, you know, all the all the fellas, Bum, all the all those people that I met. It's most of the people know me because of you guys. Like I'll be around y'all, they'll be like, oh, who's that? Or like when I go to your house during like the when the French were here. And while I was over yeah. here getting drunk in the background, they're like, oh, who's this fella? And like, you know, and I kind of <laughs> steamrolled from there. So truthfully, there is, like you said, there's luck involved for sure. So Yeah, I mean, but you just got to be a decent person. Bro. Like, <laughs> I feel like some fellas also think we in a cult or some shit. Like, I don't know if you'd be peeping on Twitter, but they'd be like, who is this top player privilege? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Like, bro, just be normal. Maybe we'll fuck with you. That's it. <laughs> But, but it, 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 I people, feel like people a lot see of that. fellas aren't normal. People see that uh, the what was it? What was the argument? They were saying that top players only hang out with top players. Yeah, and that's not even true, bro. Like we be chilling with fellas who don't even enter the tournament. The fuck? That's that's very factual. At the end yeah, of like, for, for the people watching the stream, as long as you're don't as long as you don't stink and you know how to communicate just say hi how you doing i'm so and so you want to chill can i chill with you or something you know just to be normal you you'll be if fine just normal bro we could chill bro that ass but some fellas i don't know they be trolling bro they yeah. be trolling and being awkward i ain't gonna lie have you have you had one of those encounters with with someone who's been like just extremely awkward uh not that I can truly remember. I think the only thing I remember that had me kind of fucked up was um, I was talking to No Kami in person. Shout out No Kami. Hope he's doing well. Shout um, out to him. Uh, we just having a conversation and somebody, I won't say their name, but like they were just staring at us <laughs> that whole conversation. I'm just like, like I'm having this conversation with bro and I feel like, I don't know, that shit was mad weird. That he was, was pressing just, you. <laughs> just Yeah, I'm just, we're just getting stared at. And, like, from the corner of my eye, I'm like, okay, like, is there going to be some input from this person <laughs> or, like, type shit? But not nah, nothing, just staring. I'm like, all right. But other than that, no, I didn't really have the craziest. So you like, never had any crazy. weird encounter, no strange engagement? 
Uh, no, I mean, I've the worst I've seen was Combo Breaker when I went to the bathroom to to fucking piss, and this fella was pissing in one hand and bagel in the other one. Nah. Other than that, that was yeah, that was probably the worst thing I've ever saw. That shit was insane, bro. Man got a pissy bagel in his hand. That's <laughs> bro was really with a bagel in his uh, in one hand, pissing in the other. I was like. Please. Oh no! Nah. You think he ever told his friends about that, uh, bro? Why would he? <laughs> I mean, he, I mean, maybe he's an animal at that point, bro. Who does that? No, some he people... couldn't tell. He couldn't put that shit down anywhere. <laughs> yo, bro, hold my bagel. That shit crazy. That's the, no... somebody, bro. Just be like, yo, I'm gonna go to the back and you hold this. Nothing, bro. Just an animal. Those are the demons but, you stay you know, away from. That's what I'm saying. These are the type, like, there's a lot of fellas that are like that, though, in the FGC. They're just weird. Yeah. So how about how about um somebody who you met, like, I guess the favorite person that you've ever met within the community, your encounter with them? I kind of hate it? everybody, to be honest. <laughs> that's not true. You know, you know that's not true. I mean, I never looked at it like that. Like, oh shit! Like, damn, Daniel's my favorite person. <laughs> like, I'm not. I don't know, bro. Where, where am I? Where am I on the tier? See, now I need to know where am I on the terms of favoritism. How many friend points I got right now, bro? I don't. Know. <laughs> I, don't I don't look at it that way, bro. <laughs> like, I don't. I, I don't know. My favorite person. Not, not like, the favorite person, but like a moment. Maybe? Like, no, no, like uh, a moment that's like, uh, I guess like, I don't know. One of your favorite moments where somebody came up to you and it was just like. Wow, like it was one of those surreal moments, I guess. Oh, like you mean like a top player type shit? It doesn't have to be a top player. It could be. It could be anybody. It could have been a, a random or just something. Anything. Anything. Mm, I guess the only fella I really ever cared to take a picture with was like was Nage from mm. uh, he used to play. He used to play Faust and Exert. He was the goat. The goat Faust, bro. I guess Shaq too. <laughs> I'd be forget about Shaq. Well, Shag and Shag was lady too, bro. But wait, he what about Nage? Unit. What about Nage made you, I guess? He was. A... Well, I was watching him when I was in high school, and he would be, he was just the best Faust. Like his setup, like it's just a, it's just a pleasure to watch him play. Like I truly wish Strive was at as good as Exerd, but like my, my fellows who watch Exerd, yeah, I know what I'm talking about, bro. Like, bro is just. He was just no nobody was as good as him with Faust, bro. And I played Faust, so I fucked with him. When I finally got that picture with him, he actually hit me up to get a picture. Oh, you <laughs> was, was like, you oh, probably you was blushing low key then. Yeah, I was low key guys. <laughs> so I was like, yo, he want a picture with me? Like he hit me up on Twitter, like, yo, bro, uh, I want a pic. And I was like, bro, that was crazy. But um, another, I think, also probably my favorite moment. I still think about it. Is uh, I had a I had a crazy homie uh moment with my boy Fenrich, bro. He's my goat, always my goat. Um, I think it was Daytona CEO 2019, mm -hmm. and this fella landed right. I landed, he landed or whatever, and I saw him, and he didn't know how to get to the tournament or whatever. So I was like, I I translated on Google. I was like, yo. Up in the Uber, we we out to the hotel. He showed me his hotel. Whatever we go, um, we come back or we get to the hotel, and bro, I realize his hotel is down the street or something like a couple blocks down. And this man was about to walk. I was like, bro, Daytona gas. They about to <laughs> put this man on the fryer, bro. <laughs> so I, I was like, nah. I I I tried to explain, and he didn't even know what Uber was. Oh, that's so different. And, and I was like, I was trying to explain to him like what Uber was, and and it, and, and when the car came, he was kind of reluctant to get in the whip because he was like, "Yo, what the fuck is going on?" Like, <laughs> he was like, "Do I trust like, this fella?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and but yeah, I was like, "Nah, it's okay, bro. Like, it's gonna take you to your hotel." And you know, he was hella grateful for that. Then whatever. Uh, after that. I think he got second that tournament. Um, this is Daytona. What year? Huh? Uh, you said this was in Daytona, right? What year? Yeah, I think Goichi was there too. It was it was a big CEO. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then Evo came around, and this man brought me a whole gift, bro. Like 
Because like, of that one Uber. My goodness. Yeah, like, he brought me a gift from Japan, like, hella shit, like, it was, like, candies. It was almost like a Valentine's Day type shit. I was like, he was just like, yo, I'm so grateful. Thank you for doing that for me. And I was just happy as fuck. I was like, damn, bro. That was really wholesome. Shout out Fan Liddy. He's hilarious, bro, too. When he beat me this past world tour, um, this man was like, I finally got my revenge from Summit. I was like, bro, you beat me like seven times. Bro, after had Summit. a grudge. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> bro had a permanent grudge like, on you. I was like, fuck you mean revenge, bro. Beat me like 40 times after that. The fuck? <laughs> but whatever. I guess that one hit the most. <laughs> My goodness. That one hurt the most, I guess. But yeah, that was that was good times. He he was still very like happy to see me too when we was in France or whatever. So that's the whole me. I fuck with Fan Liddy. That's always my goat. Okay. You you was mentioning how Nage was your favorite player, how you've been watching him since she was in high school. Um, what can you tell about, what can you tell to the people about the hours that you put in? Cause a lot of people see the end result to like your career. They see you now, right? They see that you, uh, you was a multi-time tournament winner, big streamer, et cetera, et cetera. But people don't know like the amount of work you truly put in, even if, even if you wow. were lucky, but they don't know about the, the, you know, the 10,000 hours, if you will. Can you talk about that? Bro, I bro, I got fired from my job for playing DBZ. <laughs> I, I, I don't, have I ever told you about that? I heard a story from your stream, but you can repeat it for yeah. the others that don't know. Bro, I would legit play like 12 hours a day. Like, this was before I streamed or anything. I was just playing, bro. And I would have work in like at like 10 a.m. And I, I, boot, I boot off DBZ at nothing type shit like i was playing that shit religiously when it dropped like and it was just to get good it was not even like obviously i never thought i'd be a streamer or anything like that that shit wasn't even in my on my mind i was just trying to get nasty and uh yeah i missed work i think three times over dbz and then that's when they finally fired me you got clipped long story short <laughs> there's a whole ass story to that but that that's a long story. Just, long story short, I I would wake up at like like I'm shift is at ten, I'll wake up at five PM and I'll call them like, oh shit, my bad. Type shit. And it it was <laughs> the last straw was Black Panther weekend. I don't know if you remember how big Oh uh, yeah, was. no, that movie was O D. That movie was yeah. Yeah. That Black Panther weekend, bro, they really needed me not I'm playing DBS. Well, the shit. world needed you most. <laughs> yeah, they needed me the most, and I I woke up at like six p.m. I'm like, oh shit, it's my fault, my fault, gang, my fault, OG. Like, I, I was like, my alarm ain't go off or something like that. What, what were you doing at that moment though? Like when when you realized that you got fired, that you lost your job, and you said you wasn't even streaming at the time. What was going through your mind? I was like, well, fuck, I guess. Let me find another job. <laughs> That's it. I mean, I didn't take it that personal. Or, like, I didn't feel like my life was over because I got fired from a movie theater. I didn't, I didn't care that much, to be honest with you. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, that that also motivated me to pop out to a tournament as well. Really? Because, Why so? Yeah, because I was like, well, if I do all right, you know, like, well, my very first major was Winter Brawl, but my very, very first tournament was... Uh, some shit in NJ, some little small shit. That's actually where I met Jersey Sage and LK for the first time. Did you know of them beforehand or no? I knew about LK because he played Persona. He got second place at Evo. So, of course, I knew who LK was. Um, Sage, nah, I, I, that was the first time I ever saw him. I think that was probably his first event too, maybe. But, but yeah, whatever. Um. I was kind of on the mindset of like, okay, for now, I'll just, I'll go to a local, see if I do well. Maybe I'll get 30 bucks for winning or whatever. And for now, I'll do that until I find a new job or whatever. That was kind of the mindset. And then when I smoked LK, and I smoked them, bro. It was <laughs> It was a <laughs> wash. 3 for real. Okay. okay, but I definitely watched, bro. No, no uh, harm, LK. It's all love, yeah. but it's the truth. <laughs> I watched his ass, I ain't gonna lie. Um, but yeah, I, I won that tournament and I got a hundred bucks. I was like, hey yo, a hundred bucks? 
Bro, I, mind you, I was making only like 120 a week at the movie theater, oh, bro. Nah. Shit You're living on below $7. below minimum wage. Shit was seven dollars an hour. I only got like like four days a week. Shit was so poor, bro. Oh, no. So I would win a tournament, get a hundred bucks. I'm like, bro, one week of work, not even having to just playing a video game. I was like, it's lit, bro. That's is, how I saw it. <laughs> wait, so is that is that the same time when you realized that this can be a reality? When they started to become a reality for you? I don't know. I was just like, all right, I'll play. And then NLBC was stupid jumping, you know. Yikes, Chris Matrix, Sonic Fox, you know, Nico Maki, all those fellas were popping out. You popped out. You know, and then I was like, let me go to NLBC. I'll see how I do there. Uh, obviously, I won that, that NLBC, and that's after that, that's when, like, once fellas really started watching my stream after I won NLBC, then it was like, oh, shit, it's, it's kind of crazy. Because I was, I think I would stream and get, like, 10 viewers, 20 maybe. Like, the game was dummy fresh, and fellas really wanted to watch because my play Piccolo or whatever. It was different. Yeah, Piccolo's what made you, uh, I guess, unique yeah, in that unique. scenario. Unique, yeah. yeah. And um, you know, I went to NLBC and I won with Piccolo or whatever, and that's when fellas really started watching. Cause also, I have to give a big ass shout out to, you know, Team Spooky, fucking Yipes, and uh, Chris Matrix, cause they hyped up my name to proportions, bro. I feel like that fellas made it so easy. For fellas to know me i guess but you have to remember right like when you when you came to nobc for the first time you have the name right you have the hook gang god and then you actually pull up with a whole what was it called it posse i think chris matrix used to call it or yeah yeah used, used <laughs> to call posse, it the posse yo, yeah the, the, chris matrix. The, the posse yeah, yeah. and and that's how like it was like oh like this guy he has you know a personality to him there's 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 more than just gameplay yeah uh the the name will real ones know what hook means. Uh, it's it's kind of stupid, bro. the The name is just some random shit I made up. I mean, I always put random shit whenever I name anything. I mean, right now my Street Fighter name is C Man, bro. Yeah, we need to talk about that. What does this mean? <laughs> I entered a tournament as C Man, bro. Fellas is like, bro, who the fuck is this fella, bro? Like. You never cared about your, your alias, your tags, or anything like that? It was just whatever. Well, team? the hook tag, I've always had Eduardo Hook mm -hmm. as my PSN. That was my hit tag since high school, since I got a PS, PS3. That was just from the random? That was just... I mean, I, we, I mean, I used Hook. We used Hook as a some shit. I won't yeah, explain yeah. it. No, but, it's fine. So it was just like, all right, my name and Hook, that's it. Fuck it. Easy shlazy. And yeah. then when this game came out is when I made that Hook Gang God shit. I just put random words together and it sounded cool. I was like, cool. Yeah. Well, it didn't even sound cool. It sounded fucking stupid, but I thought it was funny. So I kept it. Wait, wasn't actually wasn't your thing uh, Hook Gang God on Twitch? Somebody stole that shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Some of those channels still exist, bro. If you look up Hook Gang God, that shit's still a channel, bro. You ever hit up Twitch about it? I don't. I didn't care that much, but like at the time, I didn't care, obviously. But like, um, I don't know. I feel like it'd be weird if I change it now. Would it? Like, it'd be consistent for everything else you have, like, no? Uh huh? Wouldn't it be consistent with everything else that you have? Your Twitter, YouTube. Yeah, prob probably. But like at this point, like fellas who knew me from DBZ, like they would know me by now, right? Yeah. If they actually watch the game. So, like, if a new game drops or whatever, and I get nasty at that or blah, blah, like, Hook Gang God wouldn't even matter that much, mm -hmm. I guess. Like, at this point, it's whatever. I don't care that much. Plus, changing my name would be, would change the fucking, uh, wait, actually, no, it wouldn't change it. Change what? I don't know. Fuck it. I, I thought it changed the emotes, but I forgot it doesn't change it anymore. It used to, or oh. whatever. Okay. But, nah, yeah, at this point, I don't really care that much. I mean, 
Yeah, it's not the same as my YouTube. You know, maybe I'll get more fellas from the YouTube to pull up easier. But I don't know. I'm kind of like, eh, I don't care that much. Just okay. funny. Okay. It's just uh, funny that somebody stole it, though. <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm just gonna lie, fe surprisingly, fellas actually steal my shit, like, a lot. And like, like it just random games that you would, like I, log into or play? Yes, bro. Like I booted up. I remember I booted up Fortnite like 2019 just to play with my boys, and I, bro, somebody really took my name on that shit. That's a that's they called took my name a real fan. They took my name on Epic Games Store. I had to make a whole new shit. I'm like, bro, what the? F like, why are these fellas stealing my name? What the fuck? They want to be you. They want to be like you. That shit right. was, I mean, random, bro. I don't know. It's, it just, I don't know. Fellas used to do that shit, bro. Yeah. And so it's interesting because you, you mentioned like Fortnite. So I want to know because maybe the, 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 a lot of people don't know this, but how was it when you, or can you explain to the people how was it when you were going from, I guess, full time DBFZ as a streamer to switching to variety streams? Can you talk about how that transition was? Oh, I, I did this from the beginning. I'm I'm a genius, to be honest. If I'm a genius about anything, I'm a genius for that. No cap. From the very beginning, like my first, my third or fourth stream, I played Persona, bro. Persona Five, the the RPG. Um, off the rip, I already knew that this game isn't gonna last forever, bro. Mm -hmm. I have to play something else, or I have to get people to fuck with me. Because I already, at that point, I enjoyed streaming. So I was like, let me take this shit serious for But real. you said this is your third, fourth stream? How, how long into uh, streaming was it actually? A time frame, more or less. Wait, what do you mean? Like, um, from when you started streaming, like, DBZ every day, what was, you said you switched to Persona, you started playing Persona on stream, like, the fourth day? I, 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 would, I would play DBZ first and then play... Um, some other shit like persona persona was oh, okay. what i played at first that was the first variety ever and uh you know i always thought that this game won't last forever so it's kind of like if i could transfer myself to play or fell or i could get fellas to watch anything then you know fellas will stay here and obviously it worked out i mean it's still that the, that scam still works to be <laughs> honest I think that is probably the best advice I could give anybody. I always tell fellas to do that. Like, if you really want to be a streamer, you got to put yourself out there more than just the shit you're known for. So, like, off the rip, I always I always was playing Variety, bro. Like, it wasn't as frequent as it is now. Like, obviously now, motherfuckers in my chat will vomit, cry, and <laughs> talk, talk shit if I don't play Variety. But, like, at that point, obviously, nobody gave a fuck about Variety. They were like, bro, where the fuck is Piccolo, you fat bitch? <laughs> but, but, um, yeah. So, I was, I always knew that was the movement. Every time. All the time. And, you know, I see a lot of fellas also doing it now, which is blessed. Fellas actually taking my advice, bro. Did it, did it, um, did it translate immediately? Like, when you had, um... Let's say nah, you had bro, 200 I, viewers I on have, DBZ. Would it go straight to 200 on the variety game? Fuck no. I'll have like 15, 20. But I you, wouldn't really care. You never lost hope? Uh, nah. Because eventually it would work out, bro. I just got, I don't know, make a fella laugh maybe once or twice. Then they're they going to stay. They're going to stay for the vibes. It's interesting how that uh, works, right? Because it really is like, damn, this guy's pretty funny. He made me laugh. And then... You that one fellow probably link it to his homeboy like yo bro like look watch this real quick like this is pretty funny, and it creates a, a snowball effect. It's a real thing. Yeah, and um, I remember also like playing Resident Evil Seven. You played that bullshit. Yeah, 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 I did. Right? <laughs> I did. I don't. That I game don't, is fucking funny. That game gave me nightmares. I want you to understand this. That game is not even fucking scary. Which is I don't. The thing part. is, I don't watch. I don't watch anything scary. I don't watch scary movies. I don't play scary games. I because I legitimately really get nightmares. Scary, bro. <laughs> the thing is, the thing <laughs> is that I I sleep with a nightlight. You feel me? So I get <laughs> I get real life nightmares. I feel you, bro. But but <laughs> nah, yeah. So like, I remember I would play DBZ. Like I would have five hundred viewers, bro. Type shit. Five hundred, yeah. four hundred. 
and I'll switch over to Resident Evil, and uh, I'd only have like 150. Like it, it started to grow slowly. Mm -hmm. Like first it was only like 20 fellas watching. You know, I would interact a lot with the chat with fellas who were in there. Like even when I had 15 viewers, bro, I would interact with anybody who says anything. So mm -hmm. I'll just be from me talking to these fellas. And then eventually, you know, I play Resident Evil. I don't know which variety was it that really popped off the variety shit, to be honest. I just feel like overall, fellas would just stick around because once I won Summit, then that's when everything was really pulling up the pu pulling up viewers and shit. Yeah. Like before winning Summit, I only had like 600 subs, which is still a lot, to be honest. But like... So winning summit really got me a 1k 2k all that shit well, where do you, where would you be if you didn't win summit the how do you think where, the life would have time play that play that meme with the mcdonald's <laughs> burger, flipping burgers ass fella bro yeah no no i don't know it, i mean it, it it was a pivotal moment yeah but like i mean i wouldn't have stopped streaming i was still a top player you know yeah you were well, consistent. Obviously, you winning were consistent. obviously got me a lot. Like, I think winning helped you a lot as well. But I also think that your personality, like just showing what you showed on stream, on display, whenever you was on the mic, like around the couch and stuff like that with the other guys, with range, all yeah, the fellas exactly. there. Like fellas, showing then, that, showing know, another fellas, side of you. Fellas fucked with me IRL too, you know? So it's it was, you know, easy to always interact with all those fellas, like Chris Matrix and... And laughing and all them fellas, like they all they all fucked with me, you know. Yeah, yeah. I think but, you also mentioned something that was pretty pivotal that a lot of people don't do now. They tend to be Hollywood at times. I want to say, but uh, me? The, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm saying uh, you were saying how when you had like 15 people in your stream when you was playing like a variety game or something, you would read everything in the chat, like whatever they type, you would just read it. I was saying a lot of people they start to stay away from that. Like, they don't even try. Like, they really don't even try to interact with their chat at all. And I think that's... If you actually want to grow as a streamer, I think you should actually... This is just to anybody else who's, you know, who wants to stream or is streaming. Always interact with your chat because they will hold you down. Like, look out... They look out for you, you look out for them. I think it's uh, even... I mean, yeah. Having the chat is the best part, in my opinion. Like, if the chat is whack, like, it should... It's a part of the experience, so... You know, but I read everything in my chat, but I ignore like ninety percent of it. I'm gonna be honest. You're you're mute. Fellas are just brain dead in this bitch sometimes, or they just ask me questions. I'm like, ain't nobody even trying to answer this right now, bro. Like I read everything in the chat for the most part, but I ignore a lot of it because fuck these fellas, I don't care. <laughs> these fellas, like I have the I have the leeway to not answer everything now. Yeah. I read though. everything, though. There's not a chance where I miss fella. What's up? I mean, if I'm playing the game, playing the game, like, I'll miss it, obviously. But, like, there are times where I see fellas ask me the same question, like, three times in a row. And I'm just like, bro, give up, please. I'm ignoring it on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit is mad funny. I was like, bro, please give up, bro. I'm not going to answer this shit, brother. Yeah. So, but... Yeah, I want to I want to I want to talk about the uh, you you put out an interesting tweet the other day, right? You were saying how the Street Fighter 6 is not feel, is not fueling that same competitive drive that Dragon Ball did once they released. Um what makes you feel that way? Like what 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 is it that what was it about Dragon Ball that gave you that feeling and I guess that Street Fighter doesn't Fulfill. Dragon Ball is just too much fucking fun, bro. There's just nothing like it. It's fast paced, 3v3, DBZ is too hype. It's just Dragon Ball, bro. Mm. The game is just too much fun, but like, there's nothing else even like it. Like, I guess Marvel's the closest thing to it, but not even, to be honest. It's just, I don't know. I mean, Street Fighter is cool, but I've never been like the, like I said before. I was, I played anime games, mm -hmm. so like, it's always been. I always liked fast-paced games more than anything. And Street Fighter is a little slower. I mean, you know, that has Super Dash in it, but <laughs> it's still. I don't know. It, it's just, it just don't hit the same. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Plus, competitively, uh, I mean, 
since I have the stream, I'm not gonna lie, I don't need to be a top player in anything, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. So what, uh, that's why I care less about that. What Plus, was it that that happened though? Like th there was a point in time where you truly, truly cared a lot about competing. When did that switch happen? Um, well, when the game was starting to be shittier every fucking season, <laughs> you know, like, I mean, season three was the height. I think I loved the game. Three so or much season, the start of season three or like that 3.5. Yeah, era. the start of, start of, start of season three, bro. The yeah. fucking, bro, me and Nitro and Pred would play for nine, 10 hours, bro. Like yeah. the game was just too much fun. It was, we was all trying to be nasty. The French were thinking they're nasty. Word? You know, <laughs> it was a lot of motivation at that point. But, yeah. you know, after they decided, okay, French is going to win. Let's just give Vegito a full screen normal. Let's give Gogeta full screen normals. Let's give, uh, you know, every single French team the best shit in the game. And then after that, I'm just like, okay, cool. Very nice. Yeah, that's a conspiracy. I always think that shit is a whole. They were plotting bro. against the Americans, bro. They nerfed Kid Boo a week before we were gonna play them. They did the same what thing the to Nitro at Evo. They nerfed Majin Twenty One. It is what it what is. What the hell is that, bro? Kid Boo, oh bro, only Nitro and Pred played them, and they nerfed them. What the fuck? I at that point I was only the only Broly player too. They nerfed bro for no reason. But they're like, okay, here you go, Yasha. Here's Vegeta assist. Vegeta assist, little sis. Actually, I, I want to know what do you what is the like the difference in culture? Because you mentioned like the French as well. You mentioned Fenrich earlier, and now you mentioned the French. What is like the you've been to Japan, right? Yes. You've been to France, Japan. Well, what is, how different is the culture? Like when you're there and you're hanging out with the fellas or just vibing. How how much different is it compared to the States? Um well, when it comes to Japan, I feel like it's kind of hard for me to see fellas. I don't know. Uh, well, obviously, the language barrier. I can never know what these fellas truly think either. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they're extremely polite, like, all the time. I feel like like a lot of fellas that I've met are mad nice, like Fenrich, for example, and all that shit. Dogura. Dogura is probably my second favorite player because he actually talks shit. Behind Nage? That, that, yeah, well, yeah, behind Nage, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, he would talk shit, actually. I feel like everybody else is just so polite or they barely speak their mind on anything type shit. You know, Dora was the only fella who would actually talk shit, and it's beautiful, <laughs> you know? So, uh, I don't know. if I Maybe if I spoke the language, I would understand fellas more, but I feel like that kind of is the culture. They don't really say much or speak their mind that much about you. Rather, they, you know, just keep it to themselves. Uh, the French fellas, I didn't really meet any other French fella besides the Dragon Ball people. Mm -hmm. And they're all nerds. So <laughs> they all they all they want to fucking do is play DBZ. I've been to France like seven times and I only went out one time that I went there the fuck those fellas for that <laughs> i'm not gonna lie fellas is really in france and these fellas playing booing up dbz bro I hate but them fellas. It's, it's interesting how you say how they be nerds and they constantly want to put up dbz but now these are same, the same people that pull up to your house during like heat wave bbb stuff like that and you you know we had a, like a blast right we got what we got yeah, woo -woo, I mean, stuff like that like when did that dynamic we, change we got a we gotta force them to have fun. <laughs> but when when did you when, when did you realize like oh wait these fellows are actually not full time nerds? <laughs> uh, well, I always felt like Wade was never a full time nerd, so I that's why I, I gradually gravitate gravitated towards bro because I mean I could just tell. Yeah, you know, I mean yeah yeah you yeah, know yeah. he yeah just the way he be dressing and shit I know he be popping out. So I always hit bro like yo plug plug or whatever right. Yeah. Uh, the rest, you know, obviously Woo Woo is more of a reserved type of fella. He don't really. Wow was reserved. Woo Woo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Woo Woo is uh, is hard to unlock. Yeah. It's hard to unlock, bro. Yeah. But nah, nah yeah. Uh, I, I I love all the French fellas though. I'm just talking shit. Like, yeah, they're nerds. 
and they want to play DBZ, but I don't blame them. Okay. Um, I do blame them for not taking me out anywhere to eat, though. Fuck no, those fellas. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> they didn't even I... give me a, re- a fucking, like, uh, option or anything. These motherfuckers ain't no shit. I'm going to be honest oh. with you. When I went to I went to France for the first time last year I, uh, for UFA 2022. And um, low-key, I was blessed because I was able to stay at Wade's crib. He took me in. And his his uh his mother his yeah, father yeah. they would cook home cooked meals it was it was it was amazing it was probably one of my favorite favorite experiences traveling to tournaments that's probably maybe top one top two for sure pull up to the lobby chat so we could have the game in the background I think that makes yeah a huge... Wade, I mean Wade Wade is is a real one shout out Wade I fuck with Wade happy Wade. it makes a huge difference like having that gaming friends and then like the friends you could take outside of gaming. I think that's why I kind of dislike tournaments for the most part, because fellas don't be wanting to do shit. Unless certain fellas are there, it's fuck, bro. Who, like, for example, who would try and go? Like, I love Combo Breaker, top one tournament, probably. But, bro, that location got me <laughs> fucking asleep, bro. Oh, how was I hop? What you mean? Middle, <laughs> of, middle of nowhere, I hop is the best option. Bro, the shit is. Those shakes be hitting, though. Those Oreo shakes be hitting. Bro, fuck I hop. I hate that. That's the only fucking option, bro. Dead ass. That shit is truly trash. Truly a tragedy, bro. You you, but, you said Combo Breaker is the top one? Yeah, I think it's the best tournament. For a, like a, for a true video game, fighting game, like, yes. 24-hour venue. Lick in the venue. Um, you know, the... the it's a has a high status of a tournament. If you win, you know, it's very you get paid. I think it's the best when it comes to like a, just the tournament. But mm-hmm. the location really kills me, bro. Like it's in the middle. It's of so hard to want to fucking go there, bro. Like I've been after being there and I obviously like I don't have the same competitive drive as I used to. So like to spend and then I don't got a sponsor on top of that. So, to suspend a rack to pop out to middle and covers the cowardly dog, like bro. Do you think I, it's worth I though can. for 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 other people at least? I mean, for 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 like the common. If you person. really want to get nasty, if you really want to grind with fellas offline tournaments, all that shit, yes, it's worth it for that. But if you're like me and feel me, you like to go pop out to nice restaurants or or just like see shit outside of the video game, then it's it's rough because that shit really is in the middle of nowhere. Do you, I mean, I guess if you get a whip, <laughs> you can drive to downtown Chicago, it, which it, would be it, lit, it, I guess. But well, what do you what do you still. think about things like that, right? Like where where it comes down to, let's say um, this person doesn't really know anyone there; they don't really have any friends when they go to this combo breaker or, or Frosties, wherever, wherever they go, whatever tournament they go to. Is it is it a is that shit worth it just for strictly offlines, or? I I mean not having friends is insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> that that, go, uh, that would be crazy to pop out. I mean I guess you could you can meet people there of course, yeah. but like going without knowing a single person is crazy. That sounds rough. Yeah. I don't know. I I mean I've never been to like. I guess the only convention I went to where I didn't nobody knew me, I didn't know anybody was TwitchCon, but I was there for like two seconds max. Was it worth? Shit, hell no. <laughs> I mean, I went for I went for free because I was sponsored to do something there. Ah, uh, okay. I would never go there. Fuck TwitchCon. That shit was awful. Just everybody there sucking their own cock and you know all that shit. Everybody think they they cool or whatever. Partner program, man. Fuck all them fellas, bro. This shit is ass. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because I talk about that often, how a lot of people uh, tend to be really, really fake. Like, they don't know, but they're actually really, really fake. They think that these, how you say, uh, too Hollywood, too bougie, too big for you to, like, hang out with, like, yeah, they, like, they just uh, think they're they're them. Like, they're, they're untouchable, if you will. Those, those fellas are what those fellas are probably what Twitter thinks we are with the top players. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, like, I mean, I don't know, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't pop out to anything if I didn't know at least one person to enjoy it with. You know, 
Yeah. Like, like I said, my first tournament, I would bring the posse. I would go. I went to Winterboro with my boy. No, you got to at least have one person. Yeah. So that you can at least chill or whatever. Going dolo dolo, that's rough. I'm not going to lie. I think going to locals first is better if you have the option to go to a local. It would be so much better if you meet people first and then you pop out. Yeah. It, Holy it, shit. Pyromaniac with a fat ass 10 gifted subs. <laughs> this man is an oil prince. Should have gave it to Daniel, bro. He got a subathon. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's, it's my, I'm, I'm 26, gang. It's my, I woke up this morning. My knees is aching now. It's over for me, gang. It's over. It's over for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll drink, though, Pyromaniac. I'll drink. But, shout out. Shout out to everybody. Not, yeah. I don't know. It's hard for me to say go to a tournament without a single friend. I mean, if you're really about the game and you really want to win and you have a chance to win, then absolutely. But it's insane to go without a friend. Because mm. I think the experience is always that. What are the best moments, bro? Like, yes, the game is litty, but the best moments is chill. When, when we're after the tournament ends, that's the that's the most lit. <laughs> Legit, that's like, literally the most lit. That's actually the most lit. Because it's just, just it's so hot. much to do. It's so much to do. It's so much ex You know how many memories we have outside of the game? Bro, I, bro you could tell me if... if Yo, fucking, Hoochie, shout out. Hoochie with the five. I appreciate you, gang. Go ahead. Like, I, would, I wouldn't remember who the fuck won that tournament, but I'll remember if... A fella threw up at the club that day. <laughs> oh, we don't talk know? about that. <laughs> like that's what I'm saying. Like those are the real important parts, I think, and that's what makes like the FGC tournaments lit. At least for me, yeah. I feel like I'm not not to sound like I'm a Hollywood ass fella, but a lot of fellas do know me, like from multiple games. Like I even had like well, this was a random one in Evo. This man K Brad was. This man hugged me and was talking about, yeah, little bro, pop, pop, pop up with the drink. I'm like, I forgot this fella even knew who I was. <laughs> My goodness. Type shit, like, just fellas, you wouldn't even expect to know me. Just <laughs> fuck with me. <laughs> nah. You know, so, I actually had that, that that's feeling. That's the experience, bro. I was actually uh, at Daytona. I actually had that feeling. I, I didn't know that uh, the same experience you had with K Brad. I was surprised that yeah. men knew who I was. That was actually very shocking to me. And, That's lit, bro. and he was like, oh, you're Dominican. Of course I know who you are. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Yeah, that was... actually how he knows who I am, too. <laughs> I was like, That's bad random. I mean, I know who yeah, he, he is, you know, but Dominican, I was just like, we, it was already, you know. Yeah, we, we stick, we stick together. Yeah, for sure. Yes. For sure. Wait, so who, who was your, I guess, your first friend at a tournament? This is about to sound fake. I don't even know. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> oh, you know what? Like, my ver first real friend probably was is Punk. Really? Shout out Punk. Shout out Punk. Yeah, he... Did you know him beforehand? Like, did, huh? you know who he, did you know who he was? Nah, I, I didn't know who Punk was. I didn't know... I didn't even know who he... He knew who I was. He was just at NLBC one day for the Summit qualifier. And... Uh, he was just like, yeah, bro, I love, you know how punk talk. Yeah, 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 <laughs> Just imagine yeah. it. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I know. I, I fuck with the piccolo. I support you, bro. He was like, he was even telling me, like, he would, he would, he's trying to get me sponsored on his, because he was in Echo Fox at that time. Oh, yeah, but this is, this I was is 2018. Already, Jesus. Yeah, I was, I was already on NRG, though. It just wasn't revealed. So I was like, nah, bro, I'm good, bro, but thank you. Like, he really fucked with me heavy. And, you know, ever since then, you know, I started chill. I don't remember when we started chilling for real, though. But, like, we just started chilling. And, you know, it is what it is now. That's my mans. Shout out Punk. My Shout goat. Out. My Shout true Punk. goat. Punk is cool, people. He's definitely... He's he's an interesting fella. The first interaction well, we, to me... You know, just... my favorite my favorite interact... We can't even speak about that shit, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, Stream. You cannot learn about this. Yeah, that shit had me crying. Yeah, I'll shout out Punk. He too funny for yeah. real, bro. Yeah. Can't even tell the chat, but it's lit. Just know it was lit, bro. <laughs> he's he's a real one. He's definitely one of those real ones. He he's definitely one. Super shout out to Punk for Daytona was an experience for me. But for those who don't know, 
Punk held me down OD, so big bless ups to him. He he looked out for me a lot. He let me I was going through it over there and he looked out for me OD. So Punk is definitely a real one, so shout out to him. Um so last last question, bro. I need to know. For last question from me. Okay. When are you gonna beat the Taco Low Bro allegations? Bro. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that even existed. Taco's a nerd, bro. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Defeat him in the set the same night, bro. You forgot. No, I don't want to hear that. There's a there's a specific clip of him calling you low, bro. After he smoked you, he woke up DP. Right, he woke up EXDP on you into level one and smoked you with Gohan. I I guess he's cool. I beat him the same day, bro. So <laughs> I called him little sis afterwards. No, that was. But it's okay. Shout out Taco. <laughs> he's funny as fuck too. Shout out, Shout out to him for knowing English too, because yeah. it's way easier to interact when fellas, you know. Because we don't, we obviously not gonna know how how to speak Japanese, but the fact he knew English was super lit. Oh, yo, pyromaniac with the ten as well, yo. I see you. I appreciate it, gang. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, shout out, shout out to the shout out to the fellas. I appreciate y'all. And it's yeah, interesting yeah. about Taco too, right? Because Taco, it was uh, he spoke English and Japanese. And then the he was also Spanish a fella that talked shit too. Yeah, he did. He he was a fella who would actually like speak his mind too, which is very respectable. Shout out Taco, bro. He litty. Shout out. Shout I think out he Taco. played Street Fighter now. Yeah, I saw he was playing Street Fighter or some shit. I'm I'm not sure. I don't really I don't yeah. really know there. But hold on, this is the this is the part of the stream where I I usually ask. The people in chat if they have any questions maybe like two or three if something perhaps i didn't ask something they want to know so right now i'm looking at both chats so whoever has a question i'll read it and see if it's a good one and i'll ask away so speak yeah, your mind so ask a question chat i will answer if it's possible to answer <laughs> don't bother chat <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, single mothers. <laughs> Let me get drunk and I got you, bro. Oh, I got it. All right, they got a good one. Uh, Nevia says, "Ask where that fella goes when he takes a forty-five minute piss break." <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. Sometimes I be chilling on the couch. <laughs> I be, you know, I be just chilling, bro. So sometimes I'm, I'm eating something. I just be doing me. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I'll be in the bathroom for real, obviously, but like, there was a time I fell asleep on the couch, remember? <laughs> oh, no. Nah. Where I came back like an hour or two, and I was like, oh, shit, my bad, gang. I, fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, quick piss, quickest piss. That's what I always say, quick, the quickest piss. <laughs> you then, know how the chat goes, with Otter Even. It hit you with the Otter Even. Does he come back in 10 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes? Yeah. Yeah. My, My bad. Goodness. I mean, let me be, let me chill, bro. I be, chill, <laughs> I be trying to chill, bro. Let Sometimes me. when you're streaming long hours, you just need a break. It's understandable. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um. <laughs> fucking quick as piss. They're asking, are you looking for a sponsor? Or have you been contacted? Do you care to be sponsored again? What's the status? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I'm down to get sponsored if they got some guap. <laughs> I don't the care truth. that much about like finding one but guap would be nice so yes i will accept getting guap other than that i mean i don't play anything like that to get sponsored if i get sponsored for variety oh that would be the goat but Sponsor i don't know for variety. i think i'm too unhinged at the same time like if i if i how am i get sponsored for variety and my variety is me fucking Sluggies at three to forty drunk talking shit about DK's mom and Wario's poor <laughs> ass. Uh, this <laughs> like I'd be unhinged, nah. to be honest. But it would be nice. It would be nice. Um, let me see here. They said, um, "What game are you excited for next, and why?" Uh, probably Project L. If it's we we're talking about fighting games, Project L. If we're talking about like just a game in general, I'm waiting on that on that Mario, that new <laughs> Mario game that's about to drop. Mario game? What Mario game? This is the one that is called I think Mario Wonder. Ah, uh, yeah. That has potential, bro. I have 3D World very high up on my list, so I can definitely see it. Yeah. 
What I'm, about... a, I'm a variety streamer, man. I play video games. I hear you. What um, about what about that the MK hype? I don't care about MK. I mean, I'll buy it because I love MK. Like as a you said, you liked it early in the stream. You said you used to play a lot. Um, in your I mean, as a as a casual, I will cop always. Mm. Like I'm definitely trying to play as Homelander for the one time. <laughs> yeah, but like as a like a fighting game, I almost never see MK that way. Even the same I thing just, for Project O or Project O is a different story. Like that, that shit I might actually really want to get good at. But I'm buying MK just because I've been I bought every single MK ever. Might as well buy this one. Yeah. Um, and I guess this is the story be... about to be fucking Liddy for variety. So and then, and then this would be the the last one. He says. Does winning <clears throat> does winning influence how much you like the game and find it Mickey or not? Like what happened with Strive, Street Fighter Six? No, it really has to be if the game is good enough for me to care to get good at it. I mean, bro, Strive, bro. <laughs> like it's hard for me to want to get good at a game so fucking terrible, you know? Yeah. Or DNF, for example. Like those games are just fucking awful, bro. Like, how am I supposed to find motivation to play absolute? Like, it's not even about winning, bro. I just, the game has to be good and fun. That's really the important part. Okay. So, fun fun is just the number one, because you said this earlier as well. You said that the number one thing is fun first, because you started yeah, playing video games be because fun, it was bro. fun. If yeah. not, it's just cancer, bro. I mean, like, Street Fighter is just, it's lit, but at the same time, it'd be cancer. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like DBZ, I always dealt with it because i love the game so much i don't know if i feel the same about street fighter i don't really want to i'm starting not to want to deal with anything in that game mm. but yeah i don't know it, it really has to be fun bro because if not like faust was fucking dog shit and strive and it's not even that too the game is just not good either <laughs> like even if faust was dog shit if the game was as good as exert i would be nasty at the game for real. Yeah. I would try at least. And but the game was just it just stopped being fun so fast because the game sucks. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. That's just strive. I hate strive. All my homies hate strive. <laughs> and then in a week later we'll probably see you new strive patch type B. Nah, I mean I, the the strive patch dropped. I didn't even stream that bullshit. It just wasn't worth it, I guess, for you. I mean, I could have probably got some viewers, but like, game just boo boo, bro. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like the game, it's too late, bro. It's, we need a we need a whole new game at this point for me to get hyped for Guilty Gear. Strive Two has to be an entire <laughs> new game. No, Strive Two, please, chill. DBC Two. <laughs> DBC Two would be woke as fuck. That, I that. can't. I I pray for the day, man. I truly do. Maybe your competitive drive will come back like fully if you was to get a DBZ two. Yeah, then probably yes. Cause then at that if there was a DBZ two, I'd be down to deal with the bullshit, you know? Cause yeah. it's new, it's fresh, you're gonna have a whole bunch of fellas playing it again. Maybe rollback <laughs> on rollback at on this a, point on, is a myth. Maybe no, I'm saying maybe rollback for DBZ two. That would be like on on release so like you know it 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 would definitely bring back a lot the late base of... for dbfs z2 nah it's true but nah nah no way they wouldn't do that no unless <laughs> nah they wouldn't double unless... down again right <laughs> they, they, would have, they would have no rollback twice <laughs> yeah nah, no way yeah but not bro but yeah. that that was it you know, you already know. I appreciate you pulling up. Shout out to real quick. Shout out to everybody and from my stream who's been gifting subs all day. Yo, it, the for the subathon to get you on the pod, it was um how much was it? Three hundred, right? Yeah, it was three hundred to get you on the podcast, and we hit that maybe like what was it like six hours into the stream or something like that, like seven hours into the stream. It was yeah, it was, one and one day is is fucking lit, bro. Yeah, and it's interesting too because I even was telling you last night I was like, I don't think it'll happen, and you looked at me was like, bro, come on, this team they like you way too much. You was right about that. I told you, bro. I mean, you gotta have faith. 
No, you're right. For it's okay though because I I feel that way sometimes too. When it's like 1 a.m. Or, or like 2 a.m., I'm like, damn, I don't know if I should boot up today. I'd be second guessing it, and then I boot up, and here comes 500 unemployed fellas. In the chat. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, but not yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm happy to have me up, have me on, bro. On the pod. Uh, you probably got to do bum now, right? Soon. Yeah, bum bum is next on the pod because let me see what is the sub count on. Let me check. We hit three hundred and eighty-seven today. My Jesus, that's a lot. Three eighty-seven. I've been Damn. streaming for eleven hours, eleven hours and thirty minutes, and we hit three hundred eighty-seven. Three hundred eighty-seven subs in a day. Within yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys went crazy. So shout out to every single one of you fellas for real, for real. They, the bum is at 350, so we got to interview bum next. He already agreed to it. At 500, is he, is I'm going to be waiting? an NPC. Uh, no, no, I'm not going to ask him for today. Like another day because he's uh, doing Street Fighter 6, so I didn't want to bother him at all. Okay. Um, uh, how much How much, uh, How much? much time do you have on the subathon thing? So wh what I was going to do, truthfully, it kind of went out of order because I didn't think it was going to happen, right? But it ended up, it did happen, so... I think I'm going to just leave it for the rest of the month. At 500, I'll be an NPC streamer. Yes, yes, yes. Ice cream so good. <laughs> and, and at 1,000... Glizzy Gladiator? And yeah, at 1,000, at I have to become a Glizzy... A, what is it called? Glizzy Overdrive. So let's hope that doesn't oh, happen. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> be crazy. Get this, get this man to 1,000. I'll have it until the end of the month. <laughs> that clip will never be let. Uh, that shit will. T uh, that shit will be to the grave, my brother. That's a. That will be a permanent state of my resume. Her, her shit gonna be in the future. There's gonna be like iPads of memories of on people's graves. That's gonna be yours, bro. Just the, yes, our yes, favorite. Yes. Our cock, favorite. Cock, cock. <laughs> Hit you with the cock. It's gonna be lit, bro. Nah. Get this man to a thousand, bro. We must see this. Shit. Right now we're at. What was it? Three eighty-seven. Three. Yeah. So that's crazy. But nah, shout you out. Know, you know what? I have a. Since I did this pod for you, you gotta do something for me, bro. What's up? Go ahead and delete that Gancho clip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> the world does not need to see this, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know you don't have to delete it. That shit is mad funny. What? What possessed <laughs> you, bro? What possessed you? To to do that, bro. It's just funny, bro. <laughs> That's what sluggies do. I just talk. Sh yes, it just it's just funny, bro. <laughs> like yes, every, whenever I'm playing sluggies, that it. game brings a whole That's demon out of me. I'm not gonna lie. That game is like yes, yo, There's I'm just some. It's just it. it just brings out Let's anger, fucking bro. Like for real. Like I don't know if you've seen me play sometimes. No, I see. I seen you play. I've seen you play. I'm in mean, at the desk like so much that my my monitors you be slamming the desk like, you be oh. screaming yeah i know you be you be saying how you be yelling you get ulted you then you ult on you I'll, I'll be watching i'll be lurking that shit it just brings a demon out of me and like in the moment it's just funny because like fellas will do randomly good like like if the fellas who watch sluggies they know my brother monty is just the worthless ass mole or whatever the fuck <laughs> and like he be doing good randomly and i'm just like yo let's go monty i'm about to you know Lonty? insert insert gay sh gay shit <laughs> 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 like that uh, it's just funny to me yeah. i don't know well, that's good I right. it's fun <laughs> I, I i i do appreciate though you pulling up to the to the pod so big shout outs to you you already know um shout out to the stream shout out to both your stream and my stream everybody who's been asking questions or just just showing love the whole time so appreciate y'all shout out shout out you know everyone so yeah uh, it was it was fun my brother i'm probably gonna get off dbz now fuck this game bro you gotta this is a new patch <laughs> anywho nah yeah but yeah bro anywho. you already know thank you for pulling up i appreciate you i'll talk to you soon let me know what you're gonna do next week bro let's pop out again but double dip on the boat <laughs> chill <laughs> not, the, not, not the boat let's go to fucking Mo casa mofongo or some shit all right but all right but, i'm gonna catch right. you gang all right brody peace peace Oops. yo to the to the to the youtube fellas for those who are watching it on on youtube 
Uh, y'all already know you guys. You guys are our. You guys are the anime. The the Twitch is the manga. So if you guys enjoyed the stream and you guys enjoyed the podcast and all that stuff, make sure you guys come through to the Twitch and drop your boy a follow if you can. I'll really appreciate it. I'll probably upload this tomorrow, so you'll notice it right away. Um, thank you everybody for tuning in. Make sure you guys sub to the YouTube. Uh, follow the Twitch, the YouTube, the TikTok, the Twitters, everything Twitch.tv slash what Danny do and. Make sure you support Hook as well, all right? Twitch.tv slash Eduardo underscore Hook or everything yes. else, Hook oh, and God. Um, but yeah, big shout out to everyone, up. especially to the people who's been gifting subs. I, I appreciate y'all too as well. So um, yeah, thank you for tuning in. And until next time, peace to the YouTubes. <laughs>